2008 marks a very important year for the arts in China and its filmmakers. The musical Fame was brought to Beijing, starring local students. Independent filmmaker Wu Hao cut the action on his film and produced the documentary film The Road to Fame. It follows the students as they compete for leading roles while dealing with family pressure and the stress of graduation. Wu Hao explains what drew him to capture the story. So when I jumped in, I I, I first wanted to make a documentary about. What's going to happen when Broadway and China work together to do American musical, especially with fame, such a stereotypically American story? Right? It's about young kids coming of age. It's about self-made persons. This is a, this is very essentially American dream. As China's economy grows, monumental shifts are being seen everywhere. This trend is especially true in China's up-and-coming generation. This generation. Is is at the crux of China's transformation. On one level, they've been exposed so much growing up. They're growing up knowing no poverty, no political upheaval. They grew up with a lot of as the parents' income were rising, so they experienced no hardship. And also, they grew up with internet, with American TV shows, with friends, right? So they understand a lot more. So they are developing their own individuality. They, they they want to pursue their own dreams, but at the same time, there's still this tremendous pressure pulling at them, trying to say, "Okay, you need to do what I want you to do." It's coming from the parents. It's coming from the society. Wu Hao documented young characters, the majority of which were born in the 1980s. Their struggles. A particular to this generation, as they are supporting their parents' dreams in addition to their own. They are just very spoiled. They're very spoiled,、uh, but I think this being spoiled has also come from two sides. One side is because they're only kids, so the parents spoil them. The second part is because Chinese people become,、uh, you know, they they have become wealthier than before. So, and in China. Investment in education in your child's future is part of the very traditional culture. So the parents are willing to pile a lot more resources into these young kids. So both factor, being a single child and also being, the parents has a lot more disposable income to invest in their kids' future, make these kids very spoiled and very sheltered. The director said he would continue leveling up his lens to modern China's social complexity. There are certain areas that of China that haven't been explored, like the urban population, the middle class. What happens to them、um, when the society changes so fast? So these are the areas I'm really interested in. The Road to Fame is still looking for distribution in the U.S., but is highly expected to be available at a theater near you. For more from Cinevision English Channel, you can find us online at en.cinevision.net. Reporting for Cinevision Journal, I'm Jane Stone.